Have you ever heard those strange creaks and pops in your knee when you bend down to pick something up? You're not alone. It happens to many people. Why do our knees creak? Sometimes it's a sudden, dull sound that disappears for a while. Other times, it's a repeated crackling with each movement. In this video, I want to explain what causes these knee noises, why they occur, and of course, what we can do about them, but most importantly, when it's necessary to be concerned and seek medical advice. We tend to think that if we hear noises, something might be wrong. However, it's rare for everything in the human body to work perfectly. So, why does the knee creak? There are three main causes of this phenomenon. One, pop sound. This is the classic joint crack, similar to what you hear when manipulating vertebrae or other joints. It's caused by gas bubbles in the synovial fluid bursting during certain movements. Two, creaking under the patella. This noise comes from the front of the knee, where the patella glides over the femur. It's common during movements like squatting and usually not associated with pain or serious issues. Three, clack or clunk sounds. These noises can be caused by fragments of the meniscus inside the knee or other joint irregularities. Unlike harmless creaks, these noises are often accompanied by pain or instability. Leave a comment to let me know if you've ever experienced this and what kind of noise you heard. Where does the pop sound come from? Inside the joints, there is synovial fluid which acts as a natural lubricant. When these bubbles burst or collapse during certain movements, you hear the classic pop sound. This phenomenon, known as cavitation, is not harmful to the joints. Where does the creaking come from? The classic creaking is caused by the movement of the patella over the femur. When you bend or straighten your knee, the soft tissues between the patella and femur rub against each other, producing a noise. This is completely normal and not indicative of problems unless it's associated with pain. Before continuing with the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you won't miss any useful content for your health. Activate the notification bell to receive alerts every time a new video is posted. Where do the clack and clunk sounds come from? These noises are less common and often indicate the presence of meniscus fragments or other joint irregularities. Unlike harmless creaks, these sounds are often accompanied by pain or a feeling of instability. If the knee creaks without pain, there's usually no reason to worry. This noise is often due to the friction of soft tissues and does not indicate a condition. Many people with healthy knees can experience creaking without having joint problems. If the knee creaks and is painful, it's important to consult a specialist. It may be necessary to assess conditions like patellofemoral syndrome, osteoarthritis, or meniscus injuries. Rehabilitation with a physiotherapist can be very effective in these cases. Hearing the knee creak when walking or standing up is common and often not age-related. The noise is caused by the normal friction of tissues during movement. If there is no pain, no action is necessary. However, if the noise is associated with symptoms such as swelling, bruising, or difficulty moving, it's important to consult a physiotherapist to identify the cause and address any issues. Want to learn more? If you want to know how to perform specific exercises to improve the health of your knees, write, I want the video with exercises in the comments, and I'll make a specific video to help you. Let's now summarize the key points of the video. The key thing to understand is this. Noises in the joints do not necessarily indicate serious problems. Even though they might mean that the joint isn't functioning perfectly, there's no direct correlation between noises and knee issues. So relax. Hearing noises doesn't automatically mean that serious problems are developing. When should you consult a doctor? If the knee creaks and is associated with persistent pain, swelling, or instability, it's important to consult a doctor or physiotherapist. Specific tests like x-rays or MRIs might be needed to identify any joint problems. That said, is there anything we can do to improve or resolve the situation? If you hear a creaking sound but feel no pain, there's no need for specific action. The noises alone are not a definitive sign of serious issues. However, if you experience knee pain, whether occasional or frequent, along with creaking, then it's important to take action. Now, as promised, I will give you some valuable tips for the well-being of your knees. 
Maintaining healthy knees is essential to avoid pain and annoying creaks. Here are some great tips. 1. Muscle strengthening. Exercises like squats, lunges, and step-ups can help strengthen the muscles supporting the knee, reducing stress on the joint. 2. Regular stretching. Keeping the leg muscles flexible, particularly the quadriceps and hamstrings, can prevent excessive tension on the joint. 3. Low-impact activities. Swimming, cycling, and walking are great options for keeping the knees moving without overloading them. 4. Weight management. Maintaining a healthy body weight reduces the load on the knees, preventing joint wear. 5. Proper footwear. Shoes with good support and cushioning can make a significant difference in reducing stress on the knees during daily activities. If you found this content useful, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much for your attention. See you in the next video.